Hello everyone, welcome back to Kiran's English Hub. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the next reading that is Unit 4, Reading B, Maya Bazaar. So the students who are here for, you know, the summary kind of thing from the schools, I think you might not have watched this movie. If you have watched it, then it would be very great. Some of you might have watched it with your parents or grandparents. And uh, the third day's parents would have watched this movie uh, at, at, at least once in your lifetime. Okay, I think so. So, uh, like what I suggest to you is, if at all you did not watch this movie, after watching this video, please do watch the movie to understand the greatness, to understand the importance of this movie. Okay, so this Maya Bazaar title itself suggests us that we are going to read something about our film. This is simply a review of this film. Okay, as we can see, uh, the, the theme of this whole unit is uh, going to be, uh, you know, films and theater as we can see here, that is uh, unit four uh, themes there. So, what is its importance? Why Maya Bazaar is such a great film even today? And the people who are involved in it, the greatness of the film producers, film technicians, the artists, everybody who is included in this. Let us check, uh, you know, the, this great review which is uh, given by uh, some good reviewer. So let us get into this Maya Bazaar. Remember, this title Maya Bazaar uh, is not the literal title of the story. It is actually apart from the, uh, you know, Hindu, uh, this one mythological text that is uh, titled as Shashreka Paraniyam that is where Shashreka gets married. Okay, so here in this film, this is adopted uh, as the title of Maya Bazaar because, you know, the multiple things happen there which are just like amusing. Let us see. K.V. Reddy's Maya Bazaar. It is called as K.V. Reddy's Maya Bazaar because this man, K.V. Reddy, is a director who has directed this film Maya Bazaar. So, K.V. Reddy's Maya Bazaar has been voted as the greatest Indian film in an online poll conducted by a television news channel. So this Maya Bazaar film has been voted as the greatest Indian film in an online poll. There was an online poll which was conducted by a news channel. So in that online poll, this Maya Bazaar was voted as the greatest Indian film. Okay, in the entire India, okay, not just in uh, the tri uh, the states, dual states here, but in entire Indian film. The poll was conducted to find out India's greatest film till date on the occasion of 100 years of Indian cinema and the people chose Maya Bazaar over other Indian classics. So there were many other Indian classic movies which were so great, but uh, you know, the people have chosen only Maya Bazaar as the greatest film. And this poll was conducted on the occasion of 100 years of uh, in Indian cinema, uh, you know, uh, introduction to India. So the film is considered one of the enduring classics of Indian cinema and was chastened as landmark achievement in Indian films, cinematography, art direction and VFX with the available technology during that time. If you can imagine at the time of this uh, direction or this production of the movie, they didn't have that sophisticated uh, equipment, all the VFX, all the cinematography, the cameras on. But if you watch the movie, you can literally and really understand that you're watching that movie uh, somewhere in 2020 or 2015, 16 kind of. Because the you know VFX that is used, the technology, the cinematography, the art that is used in that film is not actually suitable to those times. The people who are actually making this film, uh, they did not know uh, the greatness of this film or they did not know that this film is going to be that successful. Okay, now the following is a review on the film when it celebrated the Golden Jubilee in 2007. Okay, so now this is the review which we can see as the title that is Maya Bazaar Forever. So on the occasion of its Golden Jubilee in the year 2007, okay, in the year 2007 only, uh, the film has celebrated Golden Jubilee. So on this, uh, you know, in this year, uh, there was a review written on this film. Let us look at this review. Okay. 
50 years ago director K.V. Reddy or for that matter producers Nagi Reddy and Chakrapani would not have imagined what they were unleashing when they decided to make a Maya Bazaar a bilingual in Telugu and Tamil. So this was the film which was directed and released 50 years ago, uh, you know, with the that of date of 2007. So by the year of 2007 itself, it was 50 years. Okay. Now we are in 2022. Now the review writer here is telling director K V Reddy for that matter produces Nagi Reddy Chakrapani all of them. They didn't imagine that this film is going to be kind of miraculous one. And remember, they decided this movie to be released in bilingual. What are those languages? Telugu and Tamil. Okay. The finished product hit screen in 1957. Hit screen in the sense it was released in the year 1957 to become a landmark movie in the film, uh, Telugu film industry. So it has become a landmark where, you know, whenever there is a comparison, we try to compare with the great people. So even in the case of Telugu film, uh, film and uh, film reviews, whenever there is some sort of comparison, people would compare those normal films with that of Maya Bazaar. So we can just understand the greatness. So in the 1957, the movie was released and it became a hit not only for the sterling performance of the star uh, ensemble that it had right from S.V. Rangarao, Savitri, NTR, ANR and Gumadi but also because KV Reddy was in full control over every frame of it. So uh, the film was you know complete hit okay it was blockbuster movie in our own words if you can say and remember it was blockbuster not only because of SV Rangarao, Savitri, NTR, ANR and all but it was blockbuster movie because of KV Reddy who was also there uh, in the full control of the film. Here we can see a picture that is, uh, you know, in your textbook. Here, as you can see, Savitri, who is standing here, uh, trying to, this is in those days, like in the movie, it is uh, depicted as a kind of, you know, a video call that you speak nowadays. Yes. So the same way in the film also, there was something where uh, this heroine, whenever she wants to be, see her hero, she would immediately go and open it and uh, see her dream hero. So it is just like kind of video call that we have nowadays. Okay. Now there is little else one could uh, expect when all time greats like Marcus Bartley cinematography, Gantasala music, ML Vasanta Kumari, Leela, Sushila and Madhava Peddi playback. That means playback singers. Gokhale is art. Um, is the head director of art. Next, Pasumarthi is uh, this one choreography, and Pitambaram is a makeup man. is head of all the makeup department. They all got together to wave a magic around an episode from Mahabharata. So, as I told you before, that it is uh, a small extract from uh, Hindu holy scripture. So that is Mahabharata, and in that Mahabharata, we have one episode that is Sheshireka Parinayam. In this movie, Seshreka is this lady that is Savitri. As we can see, I okay, if not Maya Bazaar, I think you have watched a Mahanati movie where Kirti Suresh, Suresh was uh, the heroine and who also played the role of Savitri. So there you can see uh, some of the uh, you know the scenes from this Maya Bazaar, which Kirti Suresh also played just like Savitri. Okay, where she used to imitate uh, another man, uh, Sv Rangara or not. So that was Maya Bazaar, okay? Uh, so the present day students, if you want to know which is Maya Bazaar movie, that is one. So all these people, okay, this uh, from the cinematography to makeup man, everybody had taken uh, their part so well in waving the magic, waving the magic in the sense, all of them, they had their hand perfect in this movie. And together they, you know, have uh, produced this type of great movie that is uh, from the Mahabharata episode, one of the episodes of Mahabharata that is Sishare Kapanem, and they have named it as uh, Maya Bazaar. However, the greatness of Maya Bazaar, about which much is said and written, 
is not just because of these facts alone. So many people say Maya Bazaar is a great film, super hit film, super duper, all that. Many people say it, many people also write it. It is not just because of all these people only, but there are some other facts which are left. Let us see what are they. Here you can see the scene where A and R, okay, A and R in the sense, uh, you should know him, okay. A and R is the father of Nagarjuna, okay. So he is A and R in shortcut, just like we call senior India, junior India. So it is a tribute to Telugu culture. What is a tribute to Telugu culture? The movie, this movie Maya Bazaar is a tribute to Telugu culture, language and customs of the land. So in this movie, we can see the Telugu culture, the language which is used in this movie. Okay, some, uh, you know, the background settings, the land that is used. So everything it resembles the Telugu states. The film was watched repeatedly soon after its release because people identified every character of the film with someone they knew in their immediate win, uh, vicinity and the audience still do the same now. See, if you like the movie, okay, if you want to watch movie, you would go to theater and watch it, come back. And after that again tomorrow morning, if it is you are like die hard fan of somebody, then again you would go and watch it because you want to tell that you are the head fan of that hero. Now tell me how many times would you watch it? watch that movie in the same way hardly three or four times but this maya bazaar film is watched tens and tens of time by its fans because there is a reason the reason is that each and every time they watch this movie they try to connect the characters to someone whom they know because we see so many characters in this uh, movie okay so many characters not just just main two protagonists there are many other people who are also just like protagonists and other people who are also antagonists and each and every character is so realistic that you know every and even a common person like a lay person also can immediately connect uh, you know some of the um, known people to these characters which are in the movie so that is why people watch it again and again now the dialogues are written by pingali narendra uh, we call him as Pingali in short form as well as the ly lyrics okay so Pingali has written both dialogues and also lyrics so these were the same that the people were hearing are using in their conversations every day if not those became a part of Telugu life thereafter see this is very important till here the meaning of this sentence is both the dialogues and also lyrics of the songs were written by Pingali what Pingali did was, whatever the regular usage that was there by the people, in general conversation, okay, just like let us say Telangana um, slang or Emana Yedigbeno kind of, you know, <laughs> this conversation would be there. You, you can see in just a very recently released movie, uh, like I am making this video, this today is 17th March 2022. So the DJ Tillu movie is already released. So in that you can see the slang, telling us and people just simply get connected to that languages. Anyone can simply go and watch it, right? Pingali also had done the same. What he did was, he used the regular language that was used by all the people. So people got connected so easily. Okay. And remember, if the conversations or the dialogues were not regular or the common ones, what happened is, after releasing of this film, those words which are unaware or those words which are not known by the other people have become common in Telugu language. Okay, see here. Chishirekas ne gadot kachas manadi sodara prema. This is the Telugu dialogue. Manadi sodara prema. That means we have brother's relation, we should not fight. Kind of one dialogue is there in the movie. Okay, so this dialogue, manadi sodara prema, is repeatedly used in some of the movies and also this has become a common phrase for so many people whenever there is some clash or whenever there is some relation that is to be uh, projected people would simply say manadi sodara prema this is the dialogue from the movie by maya bazaar so pingali's words were in uh, used in such a way that people uh, used to use those words before release of this film and if not remember 
after releasing of this film people started to use that language so the words the lyrics were that effective so this dialogue it became immortalized immortalized in the sense immortal in the sense which uh, has no death so immortalized in the sense it has become so popular lively it can never end as much as uh, surya kantams anta alamalame kada which has become a way of life in greeting people here you can see uh, the character some of the characters just like that we have another character who is surya kantam uh, surya kantam she has one dialogue the dialogue is from here see anta alamalame kada so this one till here anta alamalame kada alamalame kada in the sense is everything fine or it is just like i hope everything is fine okay so alamalame is kind of i know is everything fine andaru baunnaru kada kind of anta okay kada anta setta ananta mana short language so this is it is the same um, you know expression so this dialogue also has become so popular so just imagine the simple dialogues that are used in the general uh, you know one particular movie have become so common for all the people people used to simply understand just like now you know pushpa movie was released very recently right so like from north to south everybody started using one dialogue what is that tagge dele so people now know the meaning of that particular small dialogue okay that is i will never let down myself i you know mai jukunga nahi so everybody simply understood it everybody used to use it but it has become a style now so this uh, you know dialogues uh, that are given in this a text also have become so common so popular among the people so uh, remember i'm referring to some of the common movies because you should know uh, how effective the dialogues could be dialogues from the movies to the real life that's why i'm using the reference of some movies okay don't mind and moreover this is about the telugu film okay so it has become a way of life in greeting people so whenever some if you go to somebody's house or whenever somebody comes to your house you greet in this way anta alamala me kada that means anta kushala me kada or is everything fine this type of expression as for songs ahana pellanta still reverberates in marriages and vyaha bojnambu is at another must everybody should listen to these songs if you don't even understand listen okay see here this is ahana pellanta okay this is a song which was uh sung by the heroine okay that is savitri so before she could get married she was so happy uh, that she was going to get married and she starts singing ahana pellant that means oh i am going to get married so that is one famous song which has become so popular during the marriages nowadays during the marriages we have all the popular dj songs right okay now in those days whenever there is marriage uh immediately the people used to play this type of uh, songs ahana pellanta that one and vivaha bojnambu vivaha in the sense that is marriage bojnambu is uh, all the you know food items that are there so where gatotkaja comes and eats all the food items that were there in the marriage so that is another song which is also related to marriage so these two are another uh, you know lyrical magics which were done by pingali and which were which are even remembered till date an entire rapture was added to telugu dictionary by the film take for example talpam is used for denoting the cot or a bed were telugus using gilpam as an antonym of it till the movies advanced nor did anyone tell so empathically until gatot gajas that evaru pattinchukunte maatlaade maatalela padtai and hence if friends are to be called asmadiyulu then enemies could be termed tasmadiyulu will anyone forget the expression veendra veedko vera taadu no exception to hi hi sodara hi hi nayaka see these are the dialogues that you see in italics see i will just simply uh, you know no, this is one that is in italic thalpam and quite opposite that in the rhyming is gilpam next one is this one uh, evaru pattinchukunte maatalela portai okay that is one dialogue 
నెక్స్ట్ వన్ అస్మదీయులు జస్ట్ లైక్ ఎనిమీస్ అండ్ తస్మదీయులు కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ అండ్ అనదర్ వన్ ఈజ్ వయ్యండ్ర వాడికి ఒక వీరతాడు ఓకే వీడికి ఒక వీరతాడు అండ్ అనదర్ వన్ ఈజ్ హాయ్ హాయ్ నాయక హాయ్ హై సోదర ఓకే దిస్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద డైలాగ్స్ విచ్ వర్ లేటర్ యూస్డ్ బై ఆల్ ద పీపుల్ దీస్ ఆర్ బికమ్ కామన్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్స్ రిమెంబర్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద డైలాగ్స్ విచ్ వర్ రిపీటెడ్లీ యూస్డ్ ఇన్ ద మూవీ and also remember whenever they were used in that movie this is a very lengthy movie okay this is not one hour two hour movie this is a little bit lengthy okay so whenever these dialogues were used in the film people used to get connected immediately and people used to just uh, you know uh, immediately say these dialogues along with the dialogues on the screen people got connected that well and even today not everybody some of the elder people they use these type of languages which are from the films okay we usually call them as the idiomatic expressions okay now these are all the dialogues which we can which we cannot even forget which we cannot replace by any other dialogue that's why these are all given with the different different meanings here okay see here the first one here take for example talpam that is to denote a cot or bed and uh, gilbam is another antonym of till the movies are advanced next another one is gatotkaja he has this dialogue what is that evaru pattinchukone pattinchukokunte maatale ela kodtayi puttinchukunte maatale ela kodtayi okay not pattinchukone puttinchukunte in the sense without somebody giving birth how can we uh, you know bear this or how can we create these words every word that is spoken by the people is you know created by somebody so oh, we are creating new words is dialogue is in such a way and uh, here we can see asmadeelu tasmadeelu veyendra veediko veerathaadu veerathaadu in the sense when somebody uh, comes back to home after winning a war kind of so we have some welcoming garlands and all so the, they are called as veerathaadu and all now this is hi hi sodra hi hi naika this is the Uh, you know expression which was by two jesters two comedians uh, which was there in this movie okay now the story itself is woven around the love of sishreka and abhimanyu see she is savitri sishreka in the movie and abhimanyu is a and r with krishna and balaram having difference of opinions over it their wives to take sides as is inevitable in any family so what happens here is here the introduction of all the characters is given so the main characters here are sashreka and abhimanyu the whole story revolves around these two people marriage okay so sashreka and abhimanyu they don't really meet each other they love from far distances it is kind of uh, you know a long relationship uh, in those days right so now uh, we have another two characters one is krishna another one is baladama where you know one uh, guy tries to uh make them mar- married and another guy tries to divide them and all and meanwhile their wives also they have very good characters they are inevitable characters in the family which you know each and everybody can simply uh, resemble or uh, reflect in their lives now to introduce the theme the director uses a magic box an equivalent of a tv see here uh this is the magic box okay uh, that ashishreka used as i told you just before in the introduction of this uh explanation that ashishreka used to see everything through this uh laptop shaped kind of thing that is kind of tv let us say kind of video call but other person cannot speak only she can see that's it so the director here introduced the theme the theme is that was the magic box in the bracket it is given magic box is nothing but kind of an equivalent of a tv tv screen so which displays whatever is dear to the viewer's heart whatever that is dear to the dear to the viewer's heart in the sense here whenever shishreka comes and opens this or like you know whatever that is dear that is there in her in her heart that means whomever she likes most they would appear it is just like magic okay so immediately she would see that guy now shishreka naturally sees abhimanyu and balarama gets to see his shishya durodena on it so whenever shishreka goes and opens that tv shape type of magic box she would see abhimanyu and balarama whenever he goes and opens it he used to see uh, shishya and duryodhana on it so his wife laps up 
the sight of an array of jewelry and the audience laughed heartily because heartily because they knew that someone back home was equally attached to the riches so whenever uh, balarama comes and uh, watches in the same magic box uh, he would see that his wife was out of the jewelry so immediately people used to get connected the jewelry is very important for the woman right so people used to laugh aloud whenever they see this uh, type of scene now when balarama curtly tells his sister subhadra agadalu and see this is something that i cannot pronounce here yeah? agadalu agaitatlu naaku panikirao when he was confronted with the latter's indignation as a decision to separate cheshrek and abhimanyu work women folk among the viewers sighed recalling their own tribulations in the hands of such brothers be very careful this is the relation between brother and sister okay so whenever a sister loves somebody and uh, tells that in the houses what is the reaction of the brothers immediately they would get angry same thing happen balarama also got angry and he curtly tells his sister subhadra what did she tell agadalu agaitulu naaku panike raavu this is agaitulu agaitulu in the sense like let us say problems agadalu agaitulu is rhyming and problems okay so naaku panike raavu in the sense they don't work for me okay that means i am not good person to deal with them don't do that type of things don't become such type of girl okay that means don't fall in love indirectly so whenever this type of dialogue is there from the brother now all the uh, you know women folk women folk in the sense all the ladies and all the uh, you know girls those who were getting about to get married and all they used to recall their own tribulations uh, their own uh, you know their decisions which were molded by their brothers so they would immediately get connected next one frame after frame impacts viewers with similarities each and every frame is completely with the similarities they can really really connect these scenes with their real life now the greatness of the director lies here he successfully reduces all characters to ordinary mortals displaying all the follies of human beings except gadadgacha and krishna and then he injects into the yadava household a telugu atmosphere full with its simile imagery adage sarcasm and wit see here direct the director the story writer is so good in uh, you know framing the complete story here we can see uh, the greatness of the director and here what he did was he successfully reduced all the characters to ordinary mortals that means just like common people so where everybody can get connected except gatotkacha and krishna gatotkacha and krishna's characters are just like the same just like uh, that are shown in mahabharata the rest of the characters were brought down a little bit to the ordinary case of people and also he then injects into yadava household telugu atmosphere yadava household in the sense that is kind of you know middle class houses where people would suffer different different things um so nothing is in their hands to take the decision somebody would make the decisions on all so everything was uh, you know injected into this film the simile uh, the adage the imagery the sarcasm the wit everything the humor everything is injected by the director the result a feast for the eyes and soul that is maya bazar for you so the result of all these mixes all these characters all these different different figures of speech is nothing but finally a feast for the eyes and soul what is that feast for eyes and soul that is nothing but maya bazar mind you this is a story of pandavas and kauravas with the adavas pinching in pitching in but one never sees the pandavas throughout the film we only hear of them so this is actually the complete story which was between uh, actually the uh, between two groups here one is pandavas another one is kauravas and that is you know pinching with the adavas and what happens is the director has never ever directly brought pandavas into the film directly instead only some send, some dialogues were there of them okay and here you can see is 
you know Gatot Gacha who divorce all these items okay not just all of this there will be some more when you watch the movie you'd understand okay so he swallows all of them he uh, you know eats all of the items which were prepared for the marriage of Sishireka so it is very funny scene uh, I had watched it uh, two times I think so I can remember some of the scenes still some of the comedy and I while I was watching I really experienced uh, you know the kind of uh, you know all the you know usage of the equipment in those days if you can see uh, the each and every art and design of this man even the a personality to that particular character so everything was so perfect okay so all the background all the dialogues and movie is absolutely watchable you must watch it now if any uh, NRA asks you to suggest ways to teach Telugu culture, just ask him or her to introduce them to Maya Bazaar first. Now, let us say if any NRA is there who comes to India and asks you, uh, hey guy, come on, let us uh, please teach me some Telugu culture. So, what you do is, I won't teach you, but I will suggest you. What you will suggest, we just go and suggest them this movie. Go and watch Maya Bazaar. You will understand all the Telugu culture. Okay. So do that hereafter. Further, if they seek to know about their uncles, aunts, and cousins back home, bring in their names. Look, this is your Balarama. So when you suggest the names of this name of this movie, so while they watch, you just tell them, see, this is your uncle, this is your aunt, okay, this is your atta, this is your pinni, all this. You can, you know, simply uh, relate all the characters to all the relatives that you have that this fellow would have the NRA would have okay because so many characters uh, are actually given in this film okay it is kind of you know long uh, family tree kind of movie so here any better way of doing it so is there any better way that you would explain uh, the relations and also the Telugu culture to anybody there is no better way other than watching this movie now then onwards it's all lahiri 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 lo this is after the marriage where um i think that is before the marriage i'm not sure where this hero and heroine they just you know go on kind of walk or they are into the boat i'm not exactly sure where they sing this song lahiri 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 lo you will just mesmerize yourself you will forget yourself listening to these songs the dialogues actually i am mesmerizing i'm forgetting myself i'm just going back to that songs it is such a lovely and wonderful film i can that's why i spent too much time making this video really i love this film and listening to this song the lyrics that is used guys you will be mesmerized okay i bet you you'll be mesmerized in listening to these songs even if you have any mental tensions mental pressures you know if you are tired if you are worried all the tensions will go out everything would fade away and you your mind will become so fresh i can promise you that for sure that's why i started to sing i, I got into that movie really so this is the review that is given and finally here we can see the reviewer is telling now then onwards then onwards in the sense as soon as this nra learns what is the good culture or what is uh, who, who is uncool, who is aunt and all, then it would become so simple for him to identify. So when it is very simple for him to identify, it is a happy moment for him. This is the song which was sung during the happy moment of both uh, the heroine, hero and heroine. So that's why Lahiri, Lahiri, Lahiri in the sense. A Lahiri is kind of a happy note that is given here. Okay. So this is the ending that we see a wonderful review. This was the review given in the Hindu paper on 21st April 2006. Right. So it was very wonderful even while I was reading. Let us go through the glossary. So VFX, now we see visual effects. It is shortened as visual effects. And then now it is shortened to VFX. First it was visual effects, then visual effects. Nowadays people call it as VFX. The vicinity, it is the area around a particular place, the surrounding. Next, reverberate is to have strong effect, like a, like kind of a strong feeling, getting a strong feeling back. 
Next, a repertoire is all that a performer can, a performer can do, like all that he can put into the action. Advent is arrival. Next, array is an impressive collection of things. Next, indignation is feeling of anger. Sarcasm is a way of using words that are opposite of what one means to make fun of somebody. It is simply irony, right? So these are the glossary that DSS students must focus on this, right? So I actually enjoyed, I don't know whether you would enjoy watching this video or not, I'm not sure, but I really enjoyed it teaching to you all. I hope you also would enjoy it because this is such a wonderful lesson and also a wonderful movie, right? So in the next video, I'm going to teach you a tribute, the another reading. So please do share this video with your friends if you like it and also hit on the subscribers button and also come back and watch the rest of the videos that I would put in the playlist of Trendy Class and Ted DAC aspirants if you want all the videos of all the classes that are there in the playlist you can see 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th classes playlist everything is there so once you go to the playlist option and find all the uh, videos that you want there so thank you for watching guys see you all in the next video